Our next speaker today is Representative Costa Howard, who represents the 48th House District in Illinois. So welcome to our virtual podium. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. First of all, I want to thank you for including me as part of this panel. It was really uh, wonderful to hear about how a law student changed uh, somebody's life as their CASA advocate because CASA has been part of my life since 1994 when, as a law student, I was part of the second class of CASA advocates in DuPage County. Um, Judge Anderson had my case um, and many more since that time, but um, after becoming a CASA, I eventually transitioned into serving as a court-appointed guardian ad litem, and I continue to work alongside CASA even today to meet the needs of our students and the children who are in our districts. Um, and, and while as CASAs and as a, as a GAL, we are the eyes and ears of the court, but as you know, sometimes we need an extra pair of hands and a time feet on, a, on the cases for which we serve. So for me as a guardian ad litem, that's where CASA has been one of the greatest assets that I have. They, have, they do more than just maybe assist with trying to find some free food resources for families. CASA has made sure children receive eyeglasses, gotten them to a doctor's appointment to make sure um, they receive the necessary uh, vaccinations for school. Um, they help prepare art projects to complete during visits uh, with parents. Uh, in fact, in one case, we had a CASA advocate who was able to uh, get a laptop for, for a, one of our minors uh, and so that that child could participate in a photography class while she was in a residential facility. And then, as you would imagine, that CASA took the extra step of attending that art show. We have CASA advocates who have been instrumental with our older youth in care as well, right? So they've helped navigate an, a college application process, even talking about different um, college opportunities or trade schools, even helping our youth in care with that confusing myriad of issues involving financial aid. And as we look at these difficult times, um, we could never have predicted that what is happening right now for our advocates and our families in need. And so our CASA once again has stepped up. They help our families think outside the box to find ways to connect not only to services, but even during visitation. Um, they have, they, they bring, have brought food to families. They, I've talked to CASA workers who have read books over Skype. Um, they bring lunch and do FaceTime calls with kids just to make sure that they're, again, having that touch with that child and doing that extra check on them. We, if you're thinking about becoming a volunteer, all I can say is please, please, we need you. We need you to step up. We need your help. CASA has made a, a difference in the lives of children and families across the state of Illinois. Um, but I can tell you as a guardian ad litem, again, we need you. We, our, our court system needs you to be that extra set of eyes and ears on our families. CASA, again, thank you. Um, you make a difference in the lives of children and families across our state. And as a lawyer, as a child advocate, and now as a legislator, I can't thank you enough for all that you do. So thank you very much and thank you for the time and keep it up. 